Well, not the best week in the markets that we have experienced at this point in time. Obviously, from last weekend to this weekend, things have vastly changed. We almost broke through 70,000 just a few days ago. We were at like 69.9, and now we're at you know around 62. 7 63,000 as I'm recording this and there's a lot of talks recession talks looming war talks looming USD has been tanking gold's been surging stocks aren't looking great but we have some bullish catalysts and look like this is the perfect time when there's a big storm of events like this that are taking the markets by you know I, I hate to say the st word storm again but taking the markets by storm and really bringing them down. This is the time to kind of look through the lines and be able to have that conviction. I think that there's a lot of good altcoin positions to take. I'm going to give you three of my top DCAs during this dip, during this video. You're going to want to stick around to find out all three of those altcoins. And I think they're all going to provide such good gains when we have that run up, but it's just a matter of time and having conviction. I'm going to go over those in this video. Let's just jump right into it. If you're new to the channel, like the video, subscribe down below. We're pushing for 100K subs. Let people know where you're getting all the alpha across crypto gaming, AI, meme coins, etc. down below. Hit that subscribe button. And then a quick shout out to all of our sponsors here on In The Game. We have all of our exchange partners, you know, Bybit, Mexi, Blowfin, we have Avo, and then we have Unioverse, Moontropica, and NordVPN. So shout out to all of our sponsors down below in the description. But a 7% dip on Bitcoin this week. Not the most cozy, I could say. Uh, you know, markets have been looking better from a week ago where we have the Bitcoin conference and really a surge in price. If we look at this monthly chart just really quickly, we saw a big run up from 54 all the way, like I said, to 69. Here it says 790, but I believe we got up to 69.9 and then we rejected and it's been nothing but south price action since that point in time. There's talks of a recession, as mentioned. There's war talks going on. The USD itself today took a big plummet. But I love what Luke Belmar tweeted here. We see the markets are nuking and everyone is terrified. There is one correct answer during hard times. And I completely agree. When there's FUD, when there's a bunch of fear, when everyone's worried about the markets and everyone's kind of freaking out, this is more so the time to, lack of a better word, you know, grab your sack and be able to run to the markets and be able to accumulate some of your favorite positions. So I couldn't agree more there. And this was an interesting one. Um, Trump says that he'll pay off Maybe we'll pay off our $35 trillion debt by handing them a little crypto check, handing them a little Bitcoin. And that's interesting because obviously the market cap of Bitcoin right now is $1.2 trillion. So if he gets in office, he would literally have to giga send our bags to be able to get that valuation out of Bitcoin. So hey, you know, if that's his price targets and he thinks he can hand them a little crypto check, you know, and that all power to him, please pump our bags. But he says US must be the leader in crypto. So pretty interesting developments there. But I wonder if he understands how the market works. Bitcoin's gonna have to like 20x to get that valuation. So hey, we'll see, like I said, but I, I think that that's a pretty, a pretty bullish outlook. But hey, Mr. Trump, if you're gonna send us to 35 trill, and you're gonna need more than 35 trill to be able to pay 35 trillion of debt. So let's just see what comes out of this. And as Elio mentions here as well, uh, seems we're immersed in another moment of macro events. My plan is unchanged. I will keep chewing glass and bull posting for the good of my village. There is no plan B. And to be honest, like we're not through with this cycle. I just think that the overall sentiment of people when we just see these little tiny swings in the market and then, okay, look, 7%, all coins are getting crushed. But if you've been around crypto, like it's just another day. It's just another macro event that shows a lot of bearishness in the market for a temporary time period. But I think that we're probably going to have a major bounce off of all of this news. And to be honest, like we have so much time left in this cycle heading into election season. I think crypto will be a hot topic and that's going to help our bags regardless. And then the four year cycle timeline, we're still right on pace. We have the ETH ETF, Bitcoin ETF, there's no reason to have any bit of bearishness. And I'm going to go over a few altcoins that I think are great buys as of today. Number one, Superverse. Um, speaking of Elio, actually, funny enough. But Superverse, 57 cents, down 22% on the week. This is just a steal. And 
you know, on my last video, like I have consolidated my bags into the stuff that I have the highest conviction in. And for me, the gaming infra is Beam, it's Ronin, it's Super, it's Zentry. I like IMX, Solana Avalanche are pretty obvious, but to me, these are the gaming infrastructures that I want the highest pieces of. So Super, if we look at the weekly chart, down 22%. And they just actually announced a partnership with one of my favorite upcoming gaming projects in Super Champs. So thrilled to see the best Web3 gaming studios being a part of Superverse. Super Champs has achieved amazing feats with just two games, 5 million downloads, onboarded 200,000 plus users on base in a single week. I just think this is perfect. Super Champs, Superverse, great IP, great collaboration. And then we also see if you are not farming Super Champs, you need to be doing so head over to their rewards program and you can actually track and compete for your champ right on your smartphone so i love this you can just add the progressive web app right to your phone complete quests check your progress and browse the web shop but to me i know a lot that's coming around the corner for superverse they're partnered up with off the grid shrapnel my pet hooligan wilder world now super champs metalcore they have so many top tier games and once the super token is flourishing in all of these ecosystems, I just see such upside from here. So if I'm adding to some gaming coins, it's my top conviction stuff. And one of those is 100% Superverse. Number two is Beam. Earlier in the week, I mentioned like when you're looking across the market, you wanna find stuff that is just absolutely top tier as far as strength. And earlier this week, there were only three coins on my entire watch list that were green on the week, the daily, and the monthly. It was Caspa, which I've mentioned I'm so bullish on Caspa. Then it was Beam and Mog. Those were the only three tokens just a few days ago in the market. Not anymore. I mean, if we go through the watch list today, uh, it's, it's, it's kind of disgusting to see the, uh, the numbers, but it is what it is, but it was showing a lot of strength in the market. It was almost back at two cents. Now you're getting one and a half cents on beam. If avalanche runs, beam's going to run. If immutable runs, beam's going to run. If any of beams games in the ecosystem catch fire, this is going to absolutely print. And to be quite honest with you, when gaming runs, beam is just an absolute monster. So if you're still accumulating those top level gaming coins, I think super and beam are absolute no-brainers. Another one that's just getting so cheap and almost back down to just incredibly low levels. Like, are we in the sixes today? We're in the sevens. All right. So like 746 for Echelon Prime. I think this is a surefire back to 30, 40, 50 bucks, without a doubt. I know the biggest whales in the ecosystem are still accumulating in the game. They're about to start their parallel league. So let the games begin. This is going to be a huge tournament, lots of prizes. This is probably going to be an event where you're going to see people streaming parallel. You're going to see traditional Hearthstone players coming over and playing parallel for this catalyst. So my three gaming accumulations, and I'll give you a fourth, is Ronin, obviously. I think Ronin with the metrics is just an absolute grand slam at this point in time. 600 million market cap. Let's just compare that to stuff like... Mm. Immutable. Yeah, it's a 3x undervalued immutable and the user count, the metrics are just absolutely freaking off the chain, like no pun intended there because it's on chain metrics. But I think that Ronin is just a such a slept on play in this market. So four gaming coins I would be buying today. Super, Beam, Ronin, and Parallel Prime. That Those are the four gaming tokens that I would be accumulating now. But as mentioned prior, this is also a great time. If you're just fully allocated, farm these airdrops, guys. Go in there, farm Infinigods, farm uh, Super Champs that I just mentioned. Goat Gaming, they just minted out their NFTs. They're pretty cheap. They're like 0.07 on the, on the secondary right now. You can actually go through, accumulate these. These will likely be allocated part of the airdrop, as well as season one for the Road to Goat is about to come to an end. So jump in early so you have that early adopter status and you're able to complete some of these quests and challenges before this progresses to season two. I'm gonna have a lot of updates on this because I'm tapped into this ecosystem. The stuff that they're doing with Telegram, I couldn't be more bullish. So right now is also the time no liquidity that's fine go in and start farming airdrops and get that liquidity up spend time in those ecosystems and i guarantee you uh, a lot of these will pay off quite nicely let's move over um to ai look i think ai's really um 
it's really beaten down right now, just to be quite honest with you. If we go look at some of the things across the market, uh, stuff like PAL, PAL is one of the top tier projects in the AI space, down 20% this week. I think that's a pretty good accumulation. Node AI is one of my biggest bags in the AI sector lot of conviction here. If you're going below Tau and Render, I would be looking at PAL 0x0 GPU, and then a new one that is catching a whole lot of traction is Neural AI. Uh, Neural has just absolutely been crushing it. I know that people across the space in the AI sector are really picking this one up. It's fully diluted, 50 million market cap. They just announced a partnership with Seedify, and this is how it got on my radar because I work very closely with Seedify. I, I host spaces over there. I'm an ambassador for Seedify. So whenever they were chatting up about this partnership, I did a bit of a deep dive into everything that Neural has going on in the ecosystem, and they're definitely cooking up some pretty good stuff over here at Neural AI. So for me, if I'm looking across the sector today, if I'm going underneath Tau and I'm going underneath Render, I'm probably looking at stuff like 0x0, PAL, GPU, and Neural. And then moving on to the elephant in the room. Well, and first of all, let me put this on your radar because I think they still might be doing an airdrop. Is Kit Protocol, we talked about last week, their big partnership that they announced, but I mean, this is going to be one of the biggest incubated AI projects of the year, and I think you absolutely have to have it on your radar. So a little bit of an honorable mention because you can't really invest into it yet, but they do have nodes. So if you want to jump in, their nodes, you know, the decentralization, monetization, you can become an owner, uh, everything. They've really been posting a lot. It's a vital component of the network. They also offer incredibly rewarding and flexible terms. So you can technically invest in this, which is through the node protocol, but the KIP token is coming and it's one that I'm absolutely stoked for, for whenever it launches. And then the elephant in the room, maybe there's an elephant in the room meme coin out there because you guys freaking hate when I talk about meme coins here and it's kind of wild. Like it's insane how many people who don't participate in memes hate it so much when it's clearly it's proven to be the cultural lane of this cycle like there's just no reason you should be ignoring meme coins i understand we all want to put our sophisticated investor hat on i found this freaking awesome project 10 million market cap it went to a billion i'm such a genius but really like that's not the market that we're in right now like we had three Nairo tokens launch, and then the ETH one takes off and is at $160 million because it's Dogecoin's brother. Like, come on, that's the market we're playing in. There's a freaking coin right now called Frog. It's Fwog. It's $40 million. This market is throwing all logic out the window. So look, if you want to stay sidelined on memes, that is your choice. If you don't think that I should be talking about memes, that is your choice as well, but I've been deep in the meme trenches. I'm trying to catch a lot of these. I've been catching a lot of early ones. I've been catching a lot of the big dogs like Brett, like Mog. And look, I think if you're not allocated into some of these memes, you're gonna miss out on a significant portion of this cycle because retail flocks to these types of things. Right now, retail doesn't care about AI coins or gaming coins, but I'm planted in those niches knowing that that narrative will explode sometime throughout this cycle. But for now, I'm buying the fear. I have my gaming that I just said I'm buying, Beam, Roan, Super, Prime, my AI, 0x0, PAL, I'd be looking at GPU, I'd be looking at Neural, and then on the meme side, I think Brett and Mog are beaten down today, let's just go look quickly, uh, Ponky's down 35% this week, yeah, you're getting Mog at 500 million, that is an absolute steal, you're getting Brett the cheapest it's been in maybe three, four months, like... Pretty crazy prices out here as far as meme coins, and that's where I would keep it. I would just DCA Mog, Brett, and Ponky, and you're probably going to make out like a bandit in this market. And if you dislike meme coins, well, don't hate the player, hate the game, because that's the market that we're in. And then a quick shout out, um, we are launching Nexus coming up here on August I can't say the date. I almost just slipped. Uh, we're, we're, we're coming up very closely on the launch date for the software here for Nexus. And it is literally the all-in-one platform. You can track all of your wallets underneath one roof. Ethereum, Solana, Ton, Bitcoin, Ordinals your Bull X's, your Saga wallets. You can track everything right here on this platform, NFTs and tokens. 
We're going live here very soon. You're gonna wanna keep your eyes out and we'll update you here on the show for whenever our software does go public. And a quick shout out to all of our sponsors here on In The Game. We have NordVPN. If you're not using a VPN, what the heck are you doing? Sign up down below. You have a 30 day money back guarantee to stay anonymous on chain. I can tell you, I'm always using a VPN. I'm using a VPN while I'm recording this. I use a VPN while I trade because I want to protect my backend data. So sign up for NordVPN down below. And then if you're looking for a place to trade, we have Blowfin, centralized exchange, no KYC. Some of the best traders I know trade on Blowfin. Like they are leaving other exchange options to come trade with Blowfin. Check it out down below. No KYC for the people maybe over in the States who have had trouble finding a centralized exchange that caters to them, as well as AVO, decentralized exchange. No KYC, obviously. You custody your own crypto. You can trade leverage, options, perps, all that good stuff at AVO or Blowfin. And really the over underlying message of this is I basically gave you three to four in each niche. Gaming, AI, memes. And to be honest, like I think the fear is overblown. It's just one of those settings right now where I'm going to buy the fear. Recession talks, cool. If gold keeps running, we want to see Bitcoin correlate with gold. If the USD keeps tanking, we want to see Bitcoin go against that and prove that it could be that reserve currency that you know Trump says we want to be the US that wants to be the capital of crypto. This is the way to show Bitcoin goes against the dollar. It could be a pretty bullish metric to really push Bitcoin to the forefront. And quite honestly, I always buy the fear. War talks, recession talks. We're going lower bros all over the timeline. It's the perfect recipe for me. I'm doubling down on some of these positions. And let me know what you're doubling down on in the comment section down below because fear brings opportunity and those who grab it are going to be the ones who have the most success. It's not about what you do when the market is up. It's about what you do when the market is in these time periods. When most people are running away, scared, taking their money out, this is the time to be doubling down, knowing where the cycle is. I think that's the point that peeves me a little bit is that people act like the cycle's over and we're nowhere near being done with this cycle. So let me know your thoughts down below. What are you stacking? What narratives are you the most bullish on? Do you love or hate meme coins? And I'll see you guys on Monday with the next show. As always, like, subscribe, and I'll see y'all then. Play well, my friends.